Hello everyone, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Oh, come on somebody, hallelujah. Give him praise, give him honor, give him glory. I am up here tonight because God said that I had to talk about something. And what I want to talk about, it, it, and let me tell you why God did this. Um, I was actually at a place the other day, and what came on the news is that um, this husband, he had killed his wife. And the way he killed her, it was like savagely. And then it was crazy because they had broken up and then they got back together and got remarried. And he killed her. And the reason why he killed her is because he was having a down low affair. He was actually gay. So it sparked this in my spirit. And God said, have you all noticed the rising in husband killing wives and vice versa? He said, because people are marrying because of lust you got a good credit score. My family like your family. The church said we should be married. God says it's time for you to stop doing that. Stop being fleshly. Just because somebody look good, the sex good, oh, I'm going here tonight, hallelujah. Just because it's all good, it cannot always be good if somebody ends up dead. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So God said, Deanne, I want you to tell them. Don't make a move without confirmation from God. And let me tell you something. I'm going in deep here tonight because we're all grown. Let me tell you what happens. Once you start having sexual um, relationships or engagements with the person, now it's hard to get away from them because now you have a formed a soul tie. And so now your emotions are all caught up in it. When you first meet someone, and I said this the other night and I'll say it again. The first thing you should always ask is, God, who is this before me? Did you send them or did the devil send them? What is their place in my life? Am I even supposed to allow this person in my life? So many people are not counting the cost and you're losing your lives, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Or better yet, let's go here. Kids are getting killed by the significant other that you're dating. Because you're not asking God. Y'all just, oh, he look good. He fine. The sex good. Y'all know what I'm saying. Or vice versa. It could be a her. My God, my God, we as women of God, Christians, men, women, it does not matter. Start counting the calls. Get to know people. You know, when I was under Pastor Godot in California, he used to always say, you meet the representative first. And do you know people can pretend up to a year, even longer than that? Because everybody wears masks. That's why you have to ask God. Because let me tell you something. People can lie all day long with this. Oh, you know what? They lie better than the world. But when you ask God, show me their spirit, God, I promise you, God going to show you what they're about. Now, you may not want to hear it. And I truly believe that some people see it. They feel it because, you know, when something is not right, your spirit gets all vexed. But because you want to be loved. Oh, I'm going here because you want to be wanted. Or let's go for the famous one. Old time clicking. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. I haven't really dated since 2012. I've had friends, associates. I'm going to call them associates. But I promise you, every time I start feeling a like or something, I'm going to God. God is just, just an attraction. Is this just because I'm a man, he a woman, we both think each other fine? Come on, somebody. Hello, you got to ask those questions that you don't want to ask. Too many are dying at the hands of a husband and a wife. Somebody that you swore before these people. I'll love to the end. I'll cherish to the end through the good and the bad. Now, I'm going to say something and I can biblically prove it. Every marriage is not ordained of God. And I know people say, well, you're not supposed to divorce. The devil is a lie. Because when I had married, when I wasn't supposed to marry in 2012 and that guy almost killed me, I know what I heard. God said, Deanna, you will never be the woman of God that I have appointed you to be if you stay with this guy. And I'll never forget what he said. He said, he don't want me like you, Deanna. You don't hear what I'm saying. He don't love me like you, Deanna. That's where you're coming in being unequally yoked. So many of, of you are unequally yoked, even with the friends that you have in your life. Let, let's talk for a moment. You know they shady. You know they shysty. And yet, just because you don't want to be alone, because loneliness is a, oh, that's a spirit, honey. You have to start asking yourself, are you worthy? And you are worthy. You are worthy for somebody to wait. You are worthy for somebody to treat you good. Let me tell you something. Too many of y'all attached to friends right now that you know ain't right. But because you don't want to be alone, the devil is alive. You better learn how to be alone, honey. Because let me tell you something. Have you ever had people in the room and you still felt alone? That's because your spirit is not clicking with their spirit. Your first relationship should be God. And whatever God don't allow, then you shouldn't allow. And I know it get hard because that lonely spirit will get on us and we be thinking. You think about, you be flubbing through that phone. I wonder if I should call him. You, you know you shouldn't call him, but you know how it is. You get lonely. 
I'm just going to say hi. You know you're just not saying hi. You lonely. And I'm going to go here. You get horny. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me tonight. All these sexual desires, all kind of things start happening. That's why you got to ask God, God, keep me. God, keep my spirit. God, keep my flesh. God, keep my mind. God, keep me. You got to be real with this thing. So many people, that's how you get in. That's, that's how a lot of people are dying. God, and I said it last night, a lot of men and women are dying that are supposed to be Christians because you did not ask those vital questions. You have to ask questions. Come on, somebody. Just because you're a prophet or you have a gift or you're a minister or whatever the case may be. You have to ask God before anything. God, have me give me wisdom and discernment. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Serenity prayer. God, give me the courage to change the things that I can't and the wisdom to know the difference that the things that I cannot. I've paraphrased it, but it's the same thing. Too many people are marrying people that you're not supposed to be married to, God says. And you know it, but you keep trying to, well, they'll change, they'll change. Can I tell you something? This should be your prayer. Father God, send me somebody that love you. Because if they love you, they're going to know how to treat me. But y'all just, y'all don't understand. Y'all just accepting everybody into your life. Everybody's not meant to be in your life. And then when they do come, it could be for a reason and a season. But you're trying to hold on to something that was supposed to only be a reason or a season. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Is too many people dying by the hands of a lover, a spouse, a husband, and a wife. Tell me what thus said the Lord. And let's talk about the children. I read the other night. This happened. Actually, I, I don't forgot what, I think it was in Michigan. It was in Michigan. And also, it happened here the other night. This, this happened last night, as a matter of fact, on the news uh, I'm in Augusta, Georgia. This guy was shooting at his girlfriend. So she ran in the house. He started shooting in the house, killed a two-year-old girl. Her baby girl. Now, hold on. He had a record. He had just got out of jail. Women, you got to teach these young girls that guess what? And I'm about to say it. Just because you're having sex don't mean that's the one. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Follow the red flags. Y'all got to y'all gotta, y'all gotta test everything by the Spirit of God. I said this last night. Too many are dying. Kids can't protect themselves. So, women, you got to stop being so sexual and start understanding. Wait a minute. I'm bringing this guy up. Around my kids, my family. So now you, they get hit because of your choices. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's not fair. Count the cost. That's what I'm saying tonight. Count the cost. Even when you're married, uh, which I'm going to tell you. And, and I'm very transparent on purpose. I knew that God was not for me. I was lonely and everything else. I remember in 2012, the first day I met him, God said, no, Deanna. And I told God, I said, look, God, you ain't alone at night. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm just, was, you know. And he, 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 he allowed your permissive will. Honey, before 2012 was ending, I was begging God to get me out of this. I'll never forget, I got in my Mustang and I was sitting in that car. And I said, God, you didn't do this. I can't even blame the devil. I said, I did this. I said, but if you get me out of this, I'll never go against your word again. And to this date, I have not gone against God's word. There have been some relationships. Like y'all remember, I uh, called myself, what, getting engaged when I was in Mississippi. Y'all remember that was a couple of years ago? Honey, I had to go back to God. I said, God, what's up with this? God said, Deanna, I know that you're ready, but this is not for you. And I, I <laughs> let that go. What you have to do that, thank you, Lord. You have to listen to God. God knows all. He's your ears. He's your eyes. God is not, let me tell you. I'll never forget when it really ended. God said, Deanna, would I send anything to hurt you? You're the apple of my eye. And that's what God is saying to you, man or woman tonight. He loves you. He's not going to send nobody to hurt you. So you got to do that a checklist. If they lying, doing this, doing that, God didn't send that to hurt you. God says in chapter James chapter 1, he said, when I bless you, I add no sorrow with it. So if you're getting sorrow right, left, back, and front, that's not God. And I know, I, I know, I know it's hard being alone. Trust me. But that's why you got to ask God, God, cover me in my feelings, my spirit. Because it is not good for man or woman to be alone. But Lord, give me the spirit of waiting on you and how to wait on you, God. And when it does come, Father God, let me know that it's you. Don't let my flesh take me, Father God. Hallelujah. Too many of y'all falling in lust. That's what's happening. I'm going to say something. Just like this person that got killed recently. I'm going here. Some of you ain't going to like me. But I'm going in the spirit, and this is what it is. Oh, God, I knew you was going to make me say it on here. I knew it. Oh, my God. That stuff that happened to Nipsey, and I keep coming back to it because it's a reason. Lauren London was dating Lil Weezy, remember? I, I, I want y'all to go back with me. Didn't he have a baby with her, right? That was supposed to happen to him. 
Y'all ain't ready. Let me tell you how they met. She went in the store, right? But hold on. If you look back years ago, they had an interview with Nipsey. And this is what Nipsey said. Boy, if I can get my hands on Lauren London, I'm trying to tell y'all something right here. You got to pray better than that flesh. Because I don't care what nobody say. That was a setup. Now, y'all can sit up there and say you insensitive. I don't say nothing that the spirit don't show me. She know what she did, how she did, when she did what she did. This Illuminati stuff, man. But that's the same thing that's happening on a low level and a high level. The devil is sending people. Let me tell you something. It could be a little imp. Where do you think they get their orders from? The top. The enemy is trying to still kill and destroy the people of God. Y'all think it's just a coincidence that he got killed on 30, 33 years old? I'm about to mess y'all up for real. Lauren's first gig, the first time being an actress, was March 31st, 2013, ATL. Didn't that ball die on March 31st? Remember, the Illuminati is into numbers. Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. Hallelujah. I pray about everything, honey. The enemy is sending people to kill you. This is not a game. So you have to ask God, God, who is this before me? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all better be real up in here. The devil is trying to still kill and destroy the people of God. And he's not playing. You playing, but he's not playing. So ask everything. Check everything by that door. Straight up, I don't care if it was me. God is this, God is that. And wait for that confirmation. Come on, somebody. You, and that's why God wants us to get holy in this last hour. He didn't say perfect, but he said strive for perfection. Get in your Bible. Learn to say no. Learn to, uh, to summon your flesh. No flesh, you're not going to get the best of me. We got to get back to God like never before. And I charge these pastors out here. They're so busy trying to make a name for themselves, fame, money, and everything else. You are not teaching the people about spirits. How is it that we could talk about a Jesus and all Jesus did was cast out demons? He did not play with demons. He did not lie with demons. Come on, somebody. He cast them out. Pastors, preachers, teachers. But you can't do it if your pastor ain't doing it. They don't even speak in tongues. So you know if he ain't got no tongue, you ain't got no tongue. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm in here tonight. We got to do better. We got to do better. Y'all wondering why this generation is so lost because they are looking at a people that are lost. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going here. When I went back to Abbeville, Louisiana, I never forget. They was like, oh, oh you Apostle Dan Dixon. We didn't know you was from here. But let me tell you what each of those kids told me, and it broke my heart. I said, why aren't you not in church? Man, they doing what we doing. I said, what? He said, the pastors be out here doing this and doing that. It hurt my heart because them kids know. Let me tell you something. People watch you. Oh, you might not see them, but they watch you. You don't hear me. Well, from the time you step out of your house, you may not see them, but they peeping. Because they want to know if you live in that life that you're preaching. Especially preachers. When I was home, I'm going to tell you right now. One of my uncles told me, he said, yeah, I ride by the house every night to see if you're a car. I said, what you doing all that for? But I already knew it. Thinking you're still the same. So there are people that are watching you, even on Facebook, trying to see if you're going to fall. Trying to see if you're really the person. Just a scrolling. Just, they, don't, they don't say nothing, but they just a scrolling. Just a scrolling. Y'all think this a game? The enemy job is to prove that you are not who you say you are. The enemy's job is to make you fall. Come on, somebody. Why y'all think people falling? John Gray, and I'm just being real, talking about it was emotional. Man, go ahead, bro. You know you, you did what you did, how you did what you did. Just, just fess up. But let me tell you something. That's because them little cracks. Y'all have them little cracks in the hole. You got to seal everything. Every day I ask God, God, if there's something that is not right in me, help me. Help me be a better person. Quit lying. You know when you ain't right. You know when you got temptation. You know when lust. You know when this is trying to overtake you. You got to be real with thyself, says the Lord. And say, God, I need you. I need you, God. You ain't got to tell the whole world, but God, I need you. You know what I'm dealing with. How I'm dealing with it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's real. This is not a game. So I pray you understand what time it is. It's time to be honest and be true to you. Because if you ain't true to you, you can't be true to nobody else. But right now, the enemy got everybody. Think about, think about what's going on. People are trying to be blessed more than being anointed. I'm going to tell you right now. I give it all up. I just want to be anointed. What is it to be a child of God if you ain't got no power? Not just for yourself, but for others. Now, everybody want to look blessed. Even if you're not blessed, you want to look blessed. You'll go get an expensive house, expensive car, knowing you can't afford that stuff, getting two or three jobs, wearing yourself out in this feral system. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. My God, my God, I pray that we do better. I'm going to say it again. I pray that we do better. Be better. 
God need us in this hour because people out there are dying because the church is not doing what they're supposed to do. Too busy trying to be a star and want a lot of fly followers. Man, I don't care if I had 10. I don't really care in the name of Jesus. I just want to know that when you really see me preach or you hear me preach, do you really see God? Please don't look at me because if I'm in the forefront, then I ain't doing my job for real. I'm not letting God use me. Hallelujah to his name. Everybody want to be a star. No, we're supposed to point him to the real one. He's Jesus the Christ. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the blood, the blood, the same blood that runs through his veins, runs through my veins. Hallelujah. If I ain't got no power, then who am I? Hallelujah to his name. So I praise God that you understand who we are and who we're supposed to represent. Right? So let's get it together. Hallelujah. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is truly who we are. Act like it, walk like it, talk like it, be like it. In Jesus name. God bless.